Ratanakiri is a province in the world where you can find some big, clean, brownish to yellowish or red zircon that after each treatment will turn blue. If the place on the zircon are world famous, actually the area is very poorly known. Some wearing only pants, some shirts and pants, no shoes, with a headlamp. And then uh, they're coming down, filling up buckets with dirt. Uh, they come back up and then they winch up the buckets and then they drop the buckets in piles and then they're just sitting on the ground going by hands. I'm guessing it's providing, you know, it's providing for all the families of all the people. I mean, you can see there's wives here, there's little kids here. Um, yeah, this is a whole, this is a family, family affair. And in order to collect the zircon from the, from the gravel, they are hand sorting everything. So they are moving through the ground that is dry enough and then they are uh, trying to feel if there is any zircon in this, uh, in this gravel. After witnessing the mining for about uh, one hour and a half, we were able to see some uh, sample from this uh, group of Khmer Manor. You have about uh, 40 people mining here, about 19 different pits. The stones are quite interesting. You have few good ones. Most of them are low quality, light uh, brownish in color. But you have uh, one nice piece here. The fascinating thing about the zircon from Ratanakiri is that most of the zircon going to the trade are blue zircon. But all the stones that are coming out of the ground are yellow, orange, brownish or red. Actually, in order to produce this blue zircon, the secret is heat treatment. So heat treatment of zircon is something that is very traditional that was done for more than 50 years in the area. So here we are in uh, Ratanakiri province witnessing some uh, zircon heat treatment. Here the burner put some stone in a crucible and uh, using a blower on a traditional Thai king furnace, he is heating the stone. So he just removed the crucible out of the furnace with uh, some clothes and uh, now he will let uh, the whole uh, crucible to uh, cool down in the air outside of the furnace for about 10-15 minutes. According to a, a French gemologist from the 1950s, he was comparing the heat treatment of zircon with uh, an alchemy process where the stone had the color of the ground and then after heat treatment, after a kind of purification with the fire, they get the same color of the sky. That was incredible. I mean, we, we literally just watched him put these little kind of ugly red stones in there. W within an hour, he pulls them out. They're beautiful, clear blue, like sky blue gemstones. I mean, yeah, they're, they're ready to go. So that was, that was incredible. It's kind of magic because the stones that were brown or orange or red before heat treatment, most of them will turn blue. Most of the zircon, blue zircon that you have in the trade around the world, some stone from small size to very big size over 100 carat, most of them were mined from Ratanakiri. But currently zircon mining is going quite low because there is very few places remaining now for uh, uh, forest and also for mining. So actually here it's not really a conflict between mining and the environment. The miners are in conflict with the landowners and with the, the farmers and the plantations. <laughs>